Yeah, good evening. Two videos on one day here. It's uh, getting late. I went and did some more work on this. Um, I can't do nothing with it. it uh, there's two big uh, flat transistors, I don't know what they call them, that get very, very hot, and then this goes into shutdown. Uh, I did have a display when I first got it. I cleaned all the switches and the controls with deoxid. So um, <clears throat> I don't know what, what it is. I can't service this. So um, two of my viewers at the last, just a few minutes ago, checked my uh, comments on the video that I just put up there about the, uh, the stuff I cleared out of the shop here. And um, two, two fellows are interested in this. Um, I will probably part with it because I got the uh, NL215 and this is the M NL15, I guess. I can't remember what the numbers are. Got a mind like a sieve, as I told you. Um, anyways, um, <clears throat> when I first fired it up, I did have a display. It was a dot in the screen, in the middle of the screen, and then when I touch this control, just put my hand on it like that, my finger on it, then I got a, a, a full sweep. So when I moved the control around, it made no difference, but it took my finger off, then I lost the uh, display. That's very, very weird. I looked all over, there's nothing wrong, so I cleaned all these switches and everything, and the toggles and everything with Deoxin D5. Put it all back in the cabinet, and it goes into shutdown. I can't see that that would do it. I don't know. But all I know is, I can't fix it. Nothing new. I can never fix anything. Unless it's a vacuum tube thing, and I can actually work on it. And the frequency counter, I will um, be running that just put a signal into it and see how high it goes. I could look it up, I guess. Uh, this isn't working right, but I mean, when he gave me these things, they're not working anyways. I understand that. Um, these batteries are NICADs, 1.2 volts each. They're stone dead. I measured them all. They're not leaking. The contacts... Um, I sanded them with uh, 220 grit, it's the finest I have. Um, this does not repeat, does not come apart. Um, when I put the display on, I, I put four and a half volts in here. It's a four, four, um, 1.2 volt cells, so that's uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, that would be 4.8 volts. Okay, so I put 4.8 volts, I set it up with my power supply up there and had the leads going to these terminals here, okay? I turned it on and um, It doesn't give any readings. It gives crazy readings. I put a 6-volt battery on there, set it on the 20-volt range, and it just goes all over the place. In other words, it's not reading anything. So I figured the only thing I would be able to do with any of these things here is to clean the switches, the push buttons. And I wanted to open it up. This, repeat, this does not come apart. I worked on this for an hour. Almost an hour, I should say. I took this screw out. You loosen this up and you slide the hood back. The hood does not come off. One side hooks and unhooks. The other side won't. So... There's a screw in the middle here, which I put back in. You loosen that, and the chassis will slide out a quarter of an inch. That's all. You can see it with the jacks. They move up just barely, if even a quarter of an inch. That's it. Out to the front. This hood does not come off, short of breaking it. 
This cabinet does not split down the middle, although it looks like it's got a seam there. It does not split down the middle. I examined this under my little um, eye lope, lighted eye lope here. Um, I'll fire this up and I'll show you what it is doing. Okay, I got 4.81 volts. You got 1.2 volt cells times 4, 4.8 volts. So that's what I've got coming out of my power supply up here. Hope you can see that all right using the ZE1 again. And make sure my leads aren't going to short out the power supply here. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to turn it on before I do. Let's make sure that we I gotta get my. Where's my magnifier glass? Okay, we are on DC. The DC button is pushed in. The volt button is pushed out for volts in for milliamps, so we make sure that's out. And we are on the 20 volt. Range. This is not auto ranging. This is a two volt range. This is 20 volt. All right, we're going to put it on now. And this is our six volt battery, which I just charged, which I thought was low, but it's not. It was the scope that wasn't working going into shutdown. Uh, all right, my clip lead failed me, so I had to throw it out clip came off the end and I didn't see it. Ah, uh, lousy clips. I could just toss them out. I don't even bother fixing them. Um, okay. It's on the 20 volt range now. You can see what I'm reading. <clears throat> I short the leads out. I got my heavy test leads on it. Nothing. So, if I put my battery on here, my 6 volt battery, This is what I'm getting, 1.55. That's what I'm getting negative, and I got it. I got it connected properly. This is the plus. This is the minus. So the meter is screwed up. Now let's go to the next range, which is 200 volts. Got the lead off. Got them both off. So the meter screwed up. So, well, you know, he gave it to me. I can't complain about it after all. Um, these things are not serviceable. Not this particular model. Believe me, it does not come out of the case unless I broke it. So, here is another one that we are going to probably part with. So, not a problem. I like items, I like things, like to play with um, electronics. And if I can't fix them, at least I get some fun working on it, you know. And that, that's really all, all it's about, you know. Um... I've got a lot of digital meters anyways. I mean, I've got quite a few of them. And so it's no biggie if I don't get this one going. So if we put it on AC, um, we're still getting, there's no leads in it. I got took the leads out. Okay? There's no leads in there. And we've got a reading on the screen of 2.4 volts, or whatever it is. Let's see. 0.55 volts. 0.47 volts. 0.047, I should say. On a 200 millivolt scale, we're getting 112.2 millivolts. Let's see what we're getting on a thousand volt range. 
<coughs> on the thousand volt range, <coughs> we're getting 23 volts. Or that could be 240 volts. I don't know. Whatever. It's not working. So, all right, no biggie, no biggie. Um, the model of this is 8030A, like an alpha. So we'll shut the power supply off. Yep, I lost uh, one of the clips on these leads here. But anyways, so we put this aside. The battery pack, we might as well stick back in here again. Um, the positive goes this way, so it's got to fit in this way. does it. camera of course naturally as always all right on the bottom this is how you slide the shade out. I'll well, take my word for it. You loosen this and this slides out. There it goes. Alright. The shade that comes out here. But this shade does not, you can take this screw out. I've had it out. This shade will not come off. It comes out to um, you have to lift this up and it'll come out but just about a quarter inch before it drops off to the edge and I've tried it just does not come out so there's no way you're going to get this service and there's nothing in here that can be serviced um, an instrument technician somebody like my buddy Mike would be able to do it because he's worked on on stuff like this um, somebody with a lot of knowledge with solid state and integrated circuits and stuff like that and uh, and have the the uh, service service manual on it and and so forth but this particular meter does not come apart I'm sorry I've tried it over an almost an hour on it so anyways so I did want to share that you know with you and uh, I appreciate all this all this goodies uh, I like working on things um, even though I can't fix them. Nothing new. 